Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in today. I'm going to talk about this Delta shower faucet. These things have a known um, issue to them that was quite surprising to me. I spent over an hour, well, a few hours yesterday, trying to replace the cartridge in this unit. And I'm going to talk to you guys about what's going on and where the manufacturer's defect is. But um, first step is, of course, is to pop the, the cap. This has all been taken apart, so this is really easy for me. I just have it together to show as a demo. But you pop the cap off, then you're left with this gray um, adjuster. It has a screw. You pull that out. Then in, inside here, you're going to find an adjustment gear. That's your hot water tolerance deal. I already have that pulled out, so it's not in this video. Then your handle comes off. Um, this already has the new cartridge in it. Now, this is a Danco um, cartridge, but uh, it's also got the manufacturer's defect that... Uh, that uh, Delta has updated and produced a new part for. Unfortunately, nowhere online really talks about this part that you need to buy. You can't buy the Danco, and I'm taking this back apart because I'm going to put the Delta in, um, but it has the correction part that this video is going to show you. So the next step, of course, is to take off your trim ring. There's two screws. That comes off. And then that leaves us... Uh, the cover here, this has got a, an O-ring, and that O-ring acts as a buffer to hold your, your sleeve on. Then you got your collar, which is this piece here. This unscrews. This should only be hand tight. This shower, it's had problems clearly. You can see where it's had a pair of pliers on there, but it should only ever be hand tight. You shouldn't need pliers. And then the whole um, cartridge comes out and where the problem lies is this is a turn plate on the back of the cartridge and you can see the valve adapter but what happens is is there's a screw let me pause this get a flashlight and uh, I'll be right back with you all right, so now we're back. Um, you see that screw down in there? That is the uh, valve base or the adapter plate. And what happens is, is that screw sits above the um, plastic and it actually rides and scratches on the inside of the uh, turn plate. And that doesn't allow the turn plate to get a good seat. Um, But the new version doesn't have the screw at all. The new Delta version doesn't have the screw at all. Also, the Danco um, is different. The base adapter. So this is what the actual um, factory uh, Delta adapter plate looks like. And then the turn plate rides on these. These are spring loaded. And then if you see how that screw sits above... It doesn't allow it to make a good contact. And the new Delta piece doesn't have the screw hole. But that's the problem. So I'm going to try. This Danco is not working at all. It's completely different than this piece. It's made way, way, way cheaper. Smaller O-rings. That's the problem. It's that damn screw. So let me pull out the Danco. And then I'll compare this to the Danco and show you the difference. All right, now we can do a comparative analysis of these two. So this is the factory Delta piece. As you can see, it's got like these little guys here on the bottom turn, and they like press in there. And these are solid. One side's machine taller than the other with this raised deal there, and I don't know if that's causing a problem for me. The O-rings... Are so so cheap and cheesy there's no way that I'm gonna keep this uh, Danco piece in here because I think that it's probably the o-rings that's also causing leak by but it's just so so cheap this Danco and not only that but it's cast is not uniform you know one side's not got that raised lip and this one does as you can clearly see 
and these don't have that. Plus, these got a a taper to the plastic where that's a sharp edge. So I'm sure with water flow, the sharper edge can cause cavitating bubbles. I'm not saying that it would, but it can. Um, and the overall quality of the rubber is they may look alike, but I don't think they're alike. But that damn screw does, in fact, sit above. And that causes a wear on the valve. There's the old valve that came out of it. And you can see where the bolt scratches a line right here. Oops. You can see where that bolt has scratched. And that's the leaky side. And that's leaking right along that bolt scratch. Unfortunately, bad design by Delta, but they caught on and removed the screw. You don't really need it because it's held in there like tighter than shit. I had to use one of these hooks to get it out. And in doing so, I hooked my finger really good. <laughs> Blood all over the place like a stuck pig. But uh, I want everyone to know that that's the problem. And to solve it is you go with Delta parts. Don't try to cheap out and use the Danco. Um, this is the, the Danco. 11002 it's just junk it says compares to the delta rp 46463 <laughs> no no it doesn't doesn't even compare not at all sorry danco you striked out um off to ace to get the uh, proper valve to fix this job correctly all right this is the actual factory delta valve and it comes with a tool in there to pull the the deal and it's been redesigned where there is no screw hole. And I'm going to open this up and I'll show you. All right. Here's a little tool. That's nifty. To grab this piece and pull it out instead of using the hook and getting hooked in the finger like I did. But as you see, there's no uh, drill hole. No screw hole. Here's the old one. There's no screw hole. They've completely deleted that. But it's otherwise exactly the same. Heavy duty, the heavy duty uh, O-rings and the tapered um, caps. Looks like it's going to work out just fine. All right, now we got to take some uh, silicone grease and grease the O-rings and grease the the valves there. Valve seats, I guess you'd call it. Put some grease on each one of those. Try to get it down in between there, good. All right, now I'm gonna stick this guy back up in here. Press it down into the valve body you'll hear it just kind of pop in there all right take a little bit of grease a little bit of that silicone grease on my finger I'll put it on those rubber valves all right All right, so whenever you're doing this, you're going to want to pay extra close attention to where your label is, the hot side. And in my case, when I took it out, it was on the upside. And then you've got two arrows that line up to the side of the casement. They're on the side of it. Um, I always take and put a little silicone on the rubber O-ring here as well. Let me do that right now. A little bit of silicone. It's not going to ever hurt O-rings. It's always actually better to put them on, put a little bit of silicone on there. We're just going to stick that guy in here like so. Seat it down. We take our collar ring, which is this piece here. Now you do not need a wrench like what was used on this one. This needs to be hand tight. So you come in here. Now you're going to want to kind of hold it in as you 
crank it down so it doesn't turn. And once again, this is just to be hand tight, like so. All right. So then we take and put our our uh, trim ring back on this unit. Or our cover first, I'm sorry. So this part here. Go ahead and scoot your O-ring up to the back of it like so. And slide that on. Then you turn it to line up your screw holes. On your wings here, you got one on each side. And that's for your plate. And you want to clear your washer there, or your gasket. Just like so. And you take your plate, put your plate up here like so. And you can run a bead of silicone around there if you want. Then the next step is is to put your put your handle back on. Now it is keyed, so you want to make sure and line that up. Press that sucker on like so. Then you can put your heat limiter in here, but I always just run mine all the way to the max because I like a hot shower. And you install your, your deal there. You can check, make sure you got full range like what you want. You put your end cap screw in here. Once again, it's just snug. It doesn't have to be, you know, cinched down with any real major force. Just a little snug. And you put your cap back on. I'm going to clean that real quick. All right, that's better. Let me just snap this bad boy on. Like so. Rotate it about midway. And that's a complete job. Last step is, is to of course turn the thing on. And it is much easier to turn on and rotate without that screw binding. Like it's like liquid smooth now. I wish that was on the internet somewhere that they had that defect. What a pain in the butt. Anyways, I'm glad it worked and it's sealed up and it's uh, doing as it's supposed to. Lesson learned, only use genuine Delta parts.